Hello and welcome to this morning mobility flow. So we're just going to be on our mats for about 10 to 15 minutes, just opening up into all of our body just to get ready for the day ahead. Now to begin with, let's come into a cross-legged position. Just place your hands on your knees and roll through your shoulders, allow them to drop back and down. Close down your eyes here if that feels good and just change the direction coming forward now, still bringing them all the way up to your ears and then dropping them really low, really big circles. And coming to stillness now, moving this into our neck, our right ear falls to our right shoulder. Slowly melt your head towards your chest, left ear reaches left shoulder. Coming into this semicircle stretch of the neck. Now if you like to create really big circles with your neck, please do so. I'm just going to stay here, this feels good for me. And if you would like a little bit more pressure or weight to stretch a little deeper into your neck, just bringing your hands to adjust you, moving from side to side. So just move in your own time. We're just doing it together this morning. And coming into stillness, roll your shoulders back and down. Your back, neck and head is lengthened. Raise your arms to the ceiling. And then twisting to the right hand side. So your left hand comes to your right knee, creating that twist through your spine, all the way from the base to the top of your neck. Gaze is behind your back shoulder. And just checking in with that back hand. Make sure you're not leaning into it, okay? You're nice and tall here. Raising through your back hand up and over, coming into a cross-like position. Tuck your chin to your chest. And I want you to move here, roll from side to side. Get creative. Maybe it's just your shoulders that are moving. Maybe it's your whole upper body. But just see what feels good. I quite like to really squeeze my hands to open up the top of my back. Just a few more breaths here. And letting go of your hands, sweeping them to the ceiling and then twisting to the left hand side. Checking in on your back hand, making sure it's just like a second spine here. Your back, neck and head is lengthened and we're twisting from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your neck. Beautiful, gentle twist to start your morning. Your back hand comes up and over, reaching to your right knee, coming into that cross-like position again. And maybe here it's nice to find stillness or coming back into these rolls and little movements that feel good for you. So really explore the top of your back here. Open it up. A few more breaths. And exhaling, releasing, hands come by your side, roll through your shoulders, and now you're going to extend through your legs. Once here, just roll through your toes and ankles, and welcome any cracks and creaks that may be present this morning. That's just your body saying, good morning. And now bringing your hands to underneath your right knee, bring your right knee to your chest, hug it in. Inhale, lengthen your leg, point your toe and really extend through your back. Exhale, bend your knee, flex your foot. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more like this. Extending through your leg. Bending at your knee. And then I want you to grab onto your foot, hug your knee and pretend you've got a little baby. And just rock your hip from side to side. Now, if you have quite tight hips, maybe your baby is down here. But if you have quite open hips and want a deeper opening into them, bring it closer to your body. Just see what feels good. Just rocking gently from side to side and just being aware that you're not hunching through your spine here, okay? We're nice and active this morning. And then allowing your right foot to come to the outside edge of your left leg. 
Hug your knee into your chest. Check that your tailbone and hips are on the floor. Sweep your hands to the ceiling and then twist to the right hand side. Spinal twist again. Maybe coming a little further now. And releasing your twist, a counter twist, opening up to the front, to the left hand side. Then holding onto your foot, take it back to your left foot. Let's come to the other side now. Hands clasp underneath your left knee. Bring it to your chest. Inhale, lengthen your leg, point your toe, extend through your back. Exhale, knee comes to chest, flex your foot. Inhale, lengthen, reach it, point your toe. Exhale, knee comes to your chest. Once more like this, really reach your leg out. Exhale, bring it back and then coming into your rock your baby. Remember, just finding where's comfortable. I just hold on to the inside edge of my foot and gently rock through my hip and it feels really good down here. This is where you should feel it. We're just moving all that fuzziness out of our joints after being asleep. A few more rocks and then bringing your left foot to the outside edge of your right leg. Tailbones down, hips are seated. Sweep your hands to the ceiling and then twist over to the left hand side. Gentle spinal twist, maybe coming a little further this time. Length through your spine, neck and head. And releasing the twist, counter twist, coming to the right hand side. Untwisting and bringing your feet nice and wide on your mat. I'll turn around to the front. So your legs are nice and wide in a straddle now. Sweep your hands to the ceiling and allow your right elbow to come down to your right knee and open up through your left side body. Now here we don't want to drop into it just yet. We want to be really opening and smelling our armpit. You should smell really good in the morning. Well, hopefully you do. Feeling that beautiful side body stretch all the way down into your hip. Try not to let your hip raise off your mat. Inhale, reach your hands to the ceiling and exhale, left elbow to left knee. Open up through your right side body now. Now if you can't come this deep, hold out of it. Okay, you don't want to let your chest roll over and you don't want your hip to raise. So just see where you need to go. Inhale, your hands reach up and let's come to the right hand side again. Maybe coming a little bit further. Inhale, let your chest open. Exhale, then twisting your chest over your right knee and fold. Feeling that stretch move from your hip into your right hamstring. Your foot is flexed and your back is long here. Slowly walk your hands back to your hips. Arms raised to the ceiling, left elbow to left knee. You know where we're going, your chest, your heart is open here. And then slowly bringing your chest over your left knee, forward fold in your straddle, pretty cool. Now maybe you still feel it in your hip here, I definitely feel it on this side because I'm a little bit tighter, but you should be feeling it in your left hamstring now. And slowly walking your hands back to your hips. We're going to walk our hands out, straddle. Feet are flexed, length through your spine. Tuck your chin to your chest. If you can come further than me, bring your chest all the way down to the floor. And if not, just holding where you can go. Slowly walking your hands back to your hips, your knees bend, let your hands help your legs back in and you're going to roll over to your tabletop position. Hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're going to come into three cats and cows and I want you to move really slowly with your breath. 
So inhale, drop your belly, move really slowly. Open your chest, gaze comes in front or to the ceiling. Exhale, ever so slowly, begin to tuck your tailbone under and roll through your spine really, really slow, like you're in a slow motion video. Push away with your hands, your shoulders open, your chin comes to your chest. Moving with your breath, inhale, drop your belly, open your chest. This is our cow. And exhale ever so slowly coming back into your cat. Continue to move slowly like this. You've got one more. Taking your time, just connecting with your body, closing down your eyes if that feels good. And then we meet back in our tabletop. Lengthen through your spine, neck and head, shifting your body weight to the right hand side. Your inhale lifts your left hand to the ceiling. Trying to keep your hips square, Exhale, thread your left hand through your body, out to the right hand side. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, threading your hand through like a needle and thread. One more like this. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, thread it all the way through. Drop your bottom back to your hips, coming into a shoulder stretch here. Lengthen through your right arm. You should be feeling it through the back of your left shoulder. Forehead's on the mat or, or gaze comes to the left hand side. And just melt into this pose. It's like a mini child's pose. Your knees are a little bit closer together. And opening into your shoulder should feel really delicious. And slowly coming back into your tabletop, bringing your body forward, setting up, and then shifting your weight over to the left hand side now. Your inhale, let your right hand lift and lengthen to the ceiling. Exhale, thread your hand through like a needle and thread. Inhale to lift and lengthen, try to keep your hips square. Exhale, thread it through, one more. Inhale, lengthen. And this time, threading your hand through, sitting your hips back into your shoulder stretch. Either your forehead comes down to the mat or your gaze comes to the right hand side. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. I feel like I'm giving myself a little hug here. It's really nice. And then just bringing your hands out in front and your knees a little wider, sit back, child's pose. And let your hips melt into your heels, your chest, your forehead come down to your mat. And taking time to come back to your breath. And then ever so slowly, you're going to snake your way onto your belly, lying onto your mat. Forehead comes down, hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, slowly lift your gaze, press through your hands, baby cobra. Exhale, rolling down through your spine, maybe feeling a little bit more length when you come back down. Inhale, coming up to your baby cobra, and if you can come a little bit further, press through your hands, open up cobra. Bend your elbows, shoulders are back and down. Now, we're not pressing our hips off the floor here. Exhale, rolling down, controlling this movement. We've got one more like this. Your inhale brings you up to a baby cobra or your full expression of your cobra. Deep inhale here, exhale, roll it back down. Forehead touches the mat, tuck your toes and press it back downward facing dog pose. 
make your way there, maybe through a push-up or a little roll. And then pedal out your heels here. Open up through the backs of your legs. It should feel really good. Pause from one side to the other. Really stretching from your Achilles up your calf, behind your knees, up into your hamstring. Maybe inhale, roll through high plank. Switch on your core, your mula bandha, your pelvic floors. And then exhale, roll back, downward facing dog. Lifting your right leg up, bend your knee and open your hip here. Then I just want you to imagine your right knee as a crayon and create beautiful circles in the sky with whatever colour crayon you have. Feel that beautiful rotation through your hip, opening. Extend your leg, three-legged dog, and sweep it through into a low lunge. Drop your back knee, open your chest. And here, finding movement, rocking from side to side. I don't want you to be still here. I want you to move through your body, getting rid of that fuzziness that you've woken up with. When we wake up in the morning, all our connective tissue and everything needs to be moved around. We get this beautiful cobweb fuzz over our body. That's why we're a little bit stiff in the morning. So here we're just moving it and the cobweb fades away. And let's push back three-legged dog. Coming to the other side. Three-legged dog, I mean downward facing dog. Coming to the other side. Your left leg lifts and lengthens. Bend your knee, open your hip and then creating circles on this side. So maybe choosing a different color for your leg to be and creating circles here. And then when you're ready, extending your leg, three-legged dog, sweep it through, low lunge, drop your back knee, open your hip. And once again, really moving here. Imagine all that fuzziness in your hips, in your joints, and you just want to shift it out. You're more mobile for the rest of the day. Just moving through your hips, your knees. You can even press it back if it feels good to do a little hip wiggle. Planting your hands on the ground. Press it back. Downward facing dog. And just walking your feet mat width apart. Step your feet in just one foot distance. So we're in a narrow downward facing dog. Picking up on your right hand, bring it to your left ankle, calf or knee and twist through your body here. Gaze is underneath your left armpit. Releasing this twist, coming to the other side, your left hand meets your right ankle, calf or knee, twisting through your whole body. Gaze underneath your right armpit here. Exhale, release, walking back into your downward facing dog, bringing your knees down to the floor, sitting back onto your heels. I'll face you guys again. Rolling back through your shoulders, your hands come to the tops of your knees. And thank you so much for practicing with me today. Maybe taking a moment here to set your intention if you've got a little bit more time. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.